CPS students and families. This week, we're going to classify triangles, and this is Grade 5 Bridges, Week 11, May 26th through May 29th. This week, our outcomes are that students will analyze the triangle components of angles and sides to understand the relationship of angle and side measure to classify triangles. Now let's get our brain thinking about triangles. I want you to look at the two triangles shown on the geo board. What is the same about the triangles? What is different about the triangles? Take some time to tell somebody at your house what's the same and what's different. We need to review some vocabulary to help us with classifying triangles. The first vocabulary word is acute angle. Remember, an acute angle is an angle with a measure greater than zero degrees and less than 90 degrees. We have several examples over here. Now we're going to talk about an obtuse angle. Remember, an obtuse angle is an angle with a measure greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. And we have some examples in the green box right there. And finally, we have a right angle. A right angle is an angle with a measure of exactly 90 degrees. And you can tell that these have an exact 90 degree angle by the square to show classify that angle. There are two different ways to classify a triangle, by their sides and their angles. First, let's classify triangles by sides. The first one we're going to look at is an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a triangle with all the sides the same length, like the one to the right. Next, we're gonna see an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with exactly two congruent sides. Remember, congruent means the same or equal. So you can see that the two sides on the top are congruent. And finally, we have a scaling triangle. A scaling triangle is a triangle whose sides are all different lengths, so no sides are congruent, like the triangle to the right. Now we're gonna classify triangles by their angles. First, we're gonna look at an acute triangle, which is a triangle with three acute angles. So if you look at this triangle, we have an acute angle, an acute angle, and acute angle. Next, we have a right triangle, a triangle with one right angle. And you can see that we have one right angle right there. And finally, we have an obtuse triangle, which is a triangle with one obtuse angle. And you can see that we have an obtuse angle, which is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180, right there in the corner. You can use a hierarchy to classify triangles. A hierarchy is a way of classifying objects, triangles in this case, that starts with the most general term for an entire set and works from there toward more specific types of the objects in the set. For instance, you can see here that we start just classifying them as triangles. Then we go down to classifying them by their sides. Are they equilateral, isosceles, scalene? Then we classify them by their sides and their angles, like these triangles here. For this week's try, we are going to make different types of triangles on a geo board. You can visit Schoology and get a hard copy of this paper, or you could use an interactive geo board. If you go to www.mathlearningcenter.org, backslash resources, backslash apps, black, backslash geoboard, there is an interactive one for you to use for the next, next few activities. So you have some options for your try it. You can print these geoboards off of Schoology, or you can make your own geoboards on scrap paper at home. And finally, you could use the interactive geoboard that we've already discussed. You're going to make six triangles. The first one is going to be an acute triangle. Then, next, an obtuse triangle. 
then a right triangle that is also isosceles. After that, a right triangle that is also scalene. An obtuse triangle that is also isosceles. And finally, a scalene triangle that is not obtuse. Then, you're going to look at the problem below and use your GeoBoard to help you. Dana says it is impossible to draw a right triangle that is also acute. Do you agree with her? Why or why not? Use a GeoBoard to test your ideas. Then, explain your ideas in writing. For this week's Try It, we asked you to create six triangles on a geo board. You can see that the first one is an acute triangle up here and it's yellow. Then I have an obtuse triangle here in red. You can see the obtuse angle right there. And then we have a right triangle that is also isosceles. Here's that right angle. And then you have the two sides that are the same. A right triangle that is also scalene down here, which is green. An obtuse triangle that is also isosceles in blue. And I'm going to demonstrate how to use this with the last one, a scalene triangle that is not obtuse. So I'm going to go up here and I just drag my rubber bands up to hell where I want them in the geo board. And then I'm going to drag another one and I want to make sure that I have acute angles because it says that I do not want to have any obtuse angles for this scaling triangle. So then I'm going to go drag my third rubber band and I have a scaling triangle that is not obtuse. Oops, I got to bring that in a little bit so that it's not obtuse. See, that's the bonus. Bonus of doing it on GeoBoard. You can fix it when you make mistakes. And then I want you to use the GeoBoard to answer the challenge problem. Dana says it is impossible to draw a right triangle that is also acute. Do you agree with her? Why or why not? Use the interactive GeoBoard to test your ideas and then explain in writing. I have a little challenge for you now that you've learned about all the different kinds of triangles. Lawrence said he drew a right obtuse triangle. Rosa said that that was impossible. Explain why Rosa is correct. Hint, the sum of the angle measures in a, any triangle is 180 degrees. So think about what you know about a right angle and how many degrees that is, and what you know about an obtuse angle and how many degrees that is, to help you solve that challenge. Okay, it's time for the show what you know. Remember, you want to talk to your teacher about how you are going to submit your work to them. If you want to grab a piece of scrap paper or something to take a picture with so that you can do this after the video is over, those are great strategies. Okay, question number one. Look carefully at the triangles below and fill in the chart. You're going to tell how many acute angles are in each of the triangles, how many right angles are in each of the triangles, how many obtuse angles are in each of the triangles, and how many congruent sides. Remember, congruent means equal sides. And then you're going to tell me what kind. Is it acute, right, obtuse, equilateral, isosceles, scalene? Circle as many as apply. Question number two. I want you to circle the right triangle that is also an isosceles triangle. So you're going to figure out which one is the right triangle that is also isosceles. And question number three, circle the right triangle that is also a scaling triangle. And finally, question number four, I want you to draw the triangle described below. So A is an obtuse isosceles triangle, and B is an acute isosceles triangle. And once you're done, as I said before, talk to your teacher about how you're submitting your work, and I will see you next week for week 12 of Bridges Grade 5.